People are eating more seafood these days, especially nutritious uh, cold water fish like salmon, which is a good thing. The trick, of course, is knowing what to choose in order to land maximum flavor and nutrition while doing the right thing for the planet at the same time. Now, when it comes to sorting out market or, or restaurant offerings, I look for three words. The first, wild, which means that the critter in question lived exactly the way nature intended. The second, sustainable, which means that the fish or shellfish are managed and harvested in such a way that the populations remain robust year after year after year. Now, the third word actually sums up the first two. Alaska. Alaska's stewardship of marine resources is a, a model for the world. It meets or exceeds criteria for sustainability set by the internationally known Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations. How? Well, for one thing, um, Alaskan marine life enjoys a pristine environment, uh, clean waters, plenty of room, and a sparse human population intent on keeping it that way. But that's not all. The promise of sustainability was actually written into the Alaskan Constitution when the territory became a state in 1959. In fact, if you break out a copy of said document and look up Article 8, Section 4, it clearly states, and I quote, Fish, forests, wildlife, grasslands, and all other replenishable resources belonging to the state shall be utilized, developed, and maintained on the sustained yield principle. This means that the harvesting of a, of a resource should never exceed or in any way endanger the continued robustness of that resource. Turning this mission statement into a reality requires that various state, federal, and international organizations work efficiently and transparently to create laws. And laws necessitate enforcement. Wherever fishermen have a uh, line in, you're likely to find a guy or a girl with a badge checking that all of the rules are being followed. Officials patrol by land, sea, and air to ensure proper harvesting and processing of the resource. Oh, check this out. Fisheries biologists also collect detailed data of everything from where a fish was caught to individual DNA samples, so things like their age and place of origin can be determined. That data might get scrunched, factored, and figured at facilities like the uh, Ted Stevens Marine Research Institute, where some hundred folks in uh, lab coats do the science thing in uh, state-of-the-art genetics, chemistry, and biology labs. There's even a wet lab in which uh, various experiments can be run in fresh seawater habitats. Now, this kind of independent research gives fisheries scientists and policymakers the information they need to make informed, science based management decisions. Following is a message concerning the commercial troll fishery in southeast Alaska. The Salisbury Sound and Tevinkoff Bay Spring troll fisheries are extended for 24 hours. We'll now close at 11.59 p.m. Thursday, May 22nd. Policies uh, regarding everything from uh, when a particular fishery is opened or closed to the uh, size of boats allowed to fish, the types of gear those boats are allowed to use, and how much of a particular fish can be captured are established uh, by the Alaska Board of Fisheries and the North Pacific Fishery Management Council, among others. Through a sophisticated allotment system, they even decide who is actually going to get to do the fishing. Although uh, it's complex, the system strives to be fair and to ensure a healthy economy, a healthy ecosystem, and of course, healthy fish. Speaking of... King, sockeye, coho, kita, and pink salmon all come out of these waters, as do some of the world's best halibut, and my favorite eating fish, the black cod. And of course, Alaskan king crab, snow crab, uh, cod, and pollock are all of legendary quality, and they're wild. You know, in the end, it's all about putting the flavor and nutrition that nature intended on the plate. And of course, knowing that they're being managed sustainably is a tasty sauce indeed. Not that this needs any sauce. Interested in learning more? Good. Go ahead and uh, poke around the Alaska Seafood Marketing Institute's uh, website here. There's, there's plenty to uh, help you make good choices for your family, your planet, and of course your taste buds. Now I recommend uh, you pay Alaska a personal visit in the near future. But if you can't make the trip, you can ask for Alaska seafood from your friendly neighborhood fishmonger or at your favorite restaurant. With all of the varieties of Alaska salmon, whitefish, and shellfish available year-round, there's always something for everyone. Now if you'll excuse me, it's dinner time.